welcome you all today we are discussing about the python programming language in 1991 dutch programmer guido van rossum is created the python programming language today so many programming languages are available in the market then why we choose the python it is a programming language it is a interpreter general purpose object oriented high level and interactive programming language first one is what is interpreted interpreted means we can execute the program directly that means there is no need to compile the program we can direct execution is available in the python that is interpreter next one is general purpose general purpose means the wide variety of problem solving is available in the python that means we can develop a web application using python and develop the software application use it in the in mathematical problem solving and using the uh, ai artificial intelligence and machine learning etc that is available in the python therefore it is a general purpose language next one is object oriented there are two types of programming languages are the procedural oriented and object oriented object oriented programming is based on the object that object contain the data and functions therefore the python is a object oriented programming next one is high level language that means the syntax of the python is very easy to understandable and very close to the human language that is a important point that is very close to the human language that word is a high level language and last one is interactive we can interact with the python in we can interact with the interpreter directly or we can code the program direct to the interpreter therefore it is an interactive language it is a interpreter general purpose object oriented high level interactive programming language this is the python next we are discussing the features of the python what are the features of the python the first one is easy to code second one is high level and interactive object oriented open source and free dynamic and portable first one is easy to code we are already discuss it is very close to the human language therefore the syntax of the python is very easy therefore we can easy to code the programming language or python second one is open second one is high level language already we are discuss it high level language it is easy to understand and human language so it is very close to human language and third one is interactive all discuss it object oriented and open source and free what is open source and free that means the original code of the python programming is available to everyone this free means not free of cost that means free to uh, free uh, that is free means freedom freedom to uh, redistribute freedom to modify freedom to code and freedom to cost also is free that is this is free next one is dynamic dynamic means you not you need not, you need not to specify the type of the variable during the coding time no need to type specify the type of a variable that automatically dictate the python language which type of the variable okay then next one is portable it is a cross platform it will support every operating systems that is macintosh windows linux it is very highly portable these are the features of the python language and the python defaultly provide a ide that means integrated development environment ide means integrated development environment or it is a platform to provide facilities to programmers computer programmers for developing a computer program for developing a program that is a platform to provide the facilities to a computer program for uh, developing the programming or softwares that is ide the python is giving the uh, or default ide that is idle that is a idle 
and is ideal that means integrated development environment or integrated development learning environment it is a ide of default ide of python language okay this is an example of python ide or ideal window if you want to create new file just go to the file menu and click the new file button then will get the editor window here we can type the programming code and save with dot py extension the python programming is save with dot py extension and just run with run menu or click the f5 button and we will get the result window like this the idle have two windows one is shell window and another one is editor window this is an editor window of the idle and and this is an shell window of the idle okay then just check the program hello world program in c so check the complexity and lengthy of the program and this is an hello world program in python it is very easy to understand and syntax is very simple then python is a interpreted general purpose object oriented high level and interactive programming language okay thank you all